cancer is one of the deadliest cancer in the world today. But the frightening part is that it grows silently. Many people ignore the early warning signs until it's too late. But here is the good news. If detected early, colon cancer is highly treatable. So in today's video, I'll break down the signs, symptoms, how doctors diagnose it, and the treatment options available in 2025 so you and your loved ones can stay informed and protected and please make sure to hit the subscribe button i'm a pharmacist and every week i share simple but science-backed health tips to keep you well so let's get into the video what is colon cancer let's start simple colon cancer also called colorectal cancer or intestinal cancer happens when abdominal cells in the colon or erect grows uncontrollably forming tumors over time these tumors can spread to other organs I hate to be the bringer of bad news, but here is a scary fact. Colon cancer is one of the top three most common cancers in the world today, affecting both men and women. The risk increases after age 45, but cases in younger people are also on the rise. Now let's go back to the risk factors. Who is most at risk? Several factors increase your chances of developing colon cancer. Number one is age. Risk increases after 45. Number two is family history. Having a close relative diagnosed of colon cancer increases your risk. Number three is lifestyle. A diet high in red meat and processed food, low fiber intake, smoking, and heavy alcohol use all contribute to colon cancer. Then number four risk factor is certain health conditions. Health conditions like obesity, diabetes, inflammatory bowel disease like Crohn's and ulcerative colitis. Now knowing these risk factors is very important but what really saves lives is recognizing the signs early. So let's go back to the signs and symptoms. These are red flags you should never ignore. Number one is blood in your stool. It may look bright red or dark and tar like. Sign number two, resistant change in bowel movements that has lasted for a long period of time, like diarrhea, constipation, or feeling like you cannot empty your bowel that has lasted for a while now. Sign number three, unexplained weight loss, like you are dropping a lot of pounds or kilograms without necessarily changing your diet. Sign number four, ongoing abdominal pain, cramps or bloating. Sign number five, fatigue and weakness. And this is usually caused by hidden bleeding and anemia. And a very important reminder, these symptoms does not always mean cancer, but when they persist, you have to see your doctor immediately. And let's go over to the interesting parts, diagnosis. So how do doctors check for colon cancer? Number one diagnostic technique is colonoscopy. This is the gold standard. A small camera is inserted into your colon to check for tumors or polyps. Number two diagnostic method is called the fecal occult blood test. This test is done to detect hidden blood in the stool. Number three diagnostic test is the use of CT scans or MRI for imaging. The number four diagnostic test is what is called a biopsy. So biopsy is basically picking up the suspected cells and taking it to the lab to confirm if it's cancerous or not. But in 2025, new technologies like liquid biopsy, which is a blood test that detects cancer DNA, are also becoming more common, making diagnosis faster and less evasive. Now, what are the treatment options available in 2025? Treatment depends on the stage of the cancer. But here are the main options. Number one is surgery. Surgery involves removing the cancer cells and the surrounding tissues. Number two is chemotherapy. Chemotherapy is the use of drugs to kill cancer cells. Number three is radiation therapy. This one involves using high energy beam to target cancer cells. And then number four is what is called the targeted therapies. This is the use of drugs that target specific cancer cell mechanisms. These drugs used for targeted therapy are revolutionizing cancer therapy. And the drugs, of course, are very very expensive the fifth therapy is the immunotherapy this is boosting the body's immune system to fight cancer cells so in 2025 doctors are actually combining treatment with precision medicine tailoring therapy to the patient's genetic profile for better results and fewer side effects but like i said earlier these very recent techniques are usually very very expensive but it's really really worth it now to my prevention tips the good news is that Colon cancer can actually be prevented. So here is how you can reduce your risk of having colon cancer. First off, eat more fiber-rich foods like fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Two, limit red meat intake, processed food, alcohol, and stop smoking. Three, stay physically active. Four, get yourself screened regularly, especially after age 45 or earlier if you have the risk factors. Because of course, as we all know, 
early detection is, is what really saves lives. Colon cancer does not really have to be a death sentence, but awareness is key. Pay attention to your body, don't ignore warning signs, and always go for regular screenings. So if you found this helpful, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share this video to friends and family. And please don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.